Hey YouTube, it's Mike Peng Gangster and today let's talk a little bit about what's going to happen today on Ultimate Team. Now, this has been a promo with not much information about leaks. I've been looking at Foot Sheriff here and I don't see much him leaking much showdowns except for like this new particular one that we're seeing right here which is Kolesiknek and Carlos Soler. Um, there's other ones over here that look like pretty insane like Sanchez and Renato Sanchez. Now, are these confirmed leaks, stats, or predictions? I'm not exactly sure how real these leaks are, but if there's a Renato Sanchez coming, it is very, very demanding uh, card, and it's going to be high-rated needed for a card like this. Now, are these confirmed leaks by the sheriff? I'm not exactly sure, but if they are, because it says over here, are coming as a showdown SPC. Now, I know for sure, Renato Sanchez is definitely a card that I would want to do also myself. A lot of people want to do this type of card. Also, for example, in this showdown right here, Kolesinek would be an amazing left back to do, especially that he's from League One. A lot of people will be interested in that one also. So there's some pretty cool leaks here if they're actually official, which I'm not sure if they are. Stats and prediction. I think these ones are coming up, coming today. It could be. I'm not sure. Other things that you guys have to watch for. Also, I want people to, to tell me right now in the comments. Do you guys believe um, yesterday's content was a L or a W with the... Um, Danny Carellos, whatever his name is, and Molino, right? Molina, my God, can you say these names correctly? Now, um, a lot of the folder stuff, like 87s, 86s, I haven't moved much 88s. I would definitely get in them right away because if those leaks are real, um, you definitely want to be part of uh, buying these things because, for example, if you look at Koulibaly, an 87 rated card going for under 20k when we know if you look at the pass there's a card that's gone for like easily like 24 25k um 30,000 not too long ago like in basically last week not last week but like a couple weeks ago i mean if renato sanchez comes out this card going back to 30k is definitely uh something that can happen again like 87s 88s and stuff like that everything moves up Everything like all I rated folder 87s, 88s, 89s, 90s, they, they move up automatically because the demand that people are gonna they're gonna want to do that card will be huge. Also, you gotta remember that it's been a couple of weeks that we have not received a um, icon SBC. So is an icon SBC in <sighs> supposed to be arriving anytime soon? I wouldn't be surprised if we see one either even today, like on a Saturday or a Sunday. They usually come out on Mondays, but since we haven't had it all week, could maybe they have been waiting because of the new promo of SBC Showdown that maybe they figured, you know what, let's give them a uh, icon or a arrow uh, or some sort of like gamble pack during the weekend because they know a lot of people are on during the weekend. Now there's some s shitty stuff the company does every 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 promo. For example, this week we got those. Uh, the 85, 86 times four pack that you could buy in the store for like FIFA points or like 80 something thousand um, coins where definitely it's just not worth the the coin value of you buying the pack. It's more worth the FIFA points. This is another way for EA Sports to basically get money from your wallet because that's their, their, that's their motive every single time. So don't be fooled by these little things because if you're good at trading or even if you're not too good at trading, you could easily make 20 to 50,000 coins in like two hours of just trading regular common gold cards. Like, wow, oh, regular common gold card. Yes, you could. Just regular common gold cards. If you go mass bidding on them for like 350 coins, you're going to win a certain amount. You could easily sell them for like 550, 600, where you're making like 200 coins, maybe 200 and something coins per card. You do that for an hour, two hours, you made easily 20 to 50,000 coins, which is more money than what people make in a single day of playing FIFA. So that's just give you guys that, that little bit of like hope that don't worry guys, if you have to make coins to buy like certain 
cards that you need to be able to create SBCs, try to avoid spending your real life money on some of the worst packs I've ever seen in the store because I know that a lot of people uh, want to do these type of cards. I mean, even like this particular one over here, I, like I would like to do Kolesnik. It looks like an awesome card to do, especially that if there's a possibility that they win or draw, it goes up either one or plus two. I know that Colas Sorla has a better chance because PSG is just the better team. But still, like if PSG wins, I mean nobody's gonna be nobody's gonna be disappointed, right? Because if Renato Sanchez is part of the um, the matchup of the league, if this one is real right here, of course everybody wants Renato Sanchez to get the plus two because a 90 rated Renato Sanchez will probably be the best box to box midfielder in the game, especially that these days more people and more people are starting to play the 4-4-2 and you need two good CMs that could go back and forth. And could you imagine having a Renato Sanchez, a 90 rate, even an 88, even if you would lose, a nine, like an 88 rated Sanchez going up and down that field? These are just cards you want. So again, if people want to get in on the 87s, 88s, 89s, you don't have much time left. I'm going to upload this video right now, this morning, around 8, 8 a.m. Eastern time. So you probably have a couple hours left for you to go ahead and go buy some 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 87s, 88s, 89s. I'm telling you guys, if you got to do it, do it now. If you ain't going to do it now, you are going to be too late to the party. Yesterday was already a good day. Today's, today's the last day. Today's the last day because if these leaks are real, this is the last opportunity you have. Also, um, I've been looking at my, um, my Firmino here. And he's slightly uh, sticking around always at a million. Now I got him at 992. I need him to go up to at least 1.1 for me to be satisfied with the profit. Because at the moment, I'm not making no profit if he doesn't go to like 1 million 40 for me to break even. So I've seen him spike to like 1.40 or 1.50 already. So I wouldn't be surprised if this card goes up. So for people that are still like wanting to like invest into the RTTFs, um, there's a lot of them at the moment that have dropped like huge in price there's some cards that just don't make sense for example like uh which one was it raspadori uh, or barella yeah barella barella went down in price at one point it was 360 coins i mean this card here is guaranteed um with with with, with the next game coming up to get that hype that he goes back up to like 450 even 500k so for people that want long-term investments getting cards like barella getting cards like raspadori for example, Raspador is 243 now. At one point, it was even like 220,000. These are cards that are guaranteed uh, to get the hype uh, mid March. For example, when the games, the second legs of game starts, because these are just cards that are just going to increase in value automatically. Um, even Malin, when you look at Malin, this is a card also that could have a little bit of hype. Like all of these RTDFs right now, um, they're not, a, they don't look bad for a little. Um, you know, like a little investment, like buying maybe one or two if you have a lot of coins, keeping them there because all that could happen to them in the next few weeks is for them to increase their value. So today, if my I, my investments go up, I'm going to sell my cars and I'm going to start buying long-term investments because long-term investments are the ones um, that are going to give you the most coins profit-wise, which it's going to take at least about two to three weeks before you see that huge increase. But you know what? I don't mind waiting two, three weeks and maybe trading with like less money and just making like quick little flips per day. But I have like these high rated cards that have potential to go up very, very high and make a lot of coins. But anyways, that's besides the point. Just giving you guys a little few tips. Do what you want. But I'm just telling you guys right now, um, the leaks, if these leaks are real, I don't know what this one is, Calgary. Um, I don't know if this is something also, but this would be pretty cool to see this card back in the, the game. Um, anyway, we'll see what happens. Like I said, these are the leaks that I've seen so far. Um, this thing right here, two reasons why promos was a massive W. Uh, this is something that... I'm not sure what this was, but these are other stuff. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Go invest as quickly as possible before it's too late, guys. I'm telling you guys, you need to buy 87s, 88s, 86s right now before before you just basically are running out of time because once once these type of SPCs come out, these things just 
I've got to skyrocket. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.